for. And what we, what we haven't agreed on, because it's, there's no very clear-cut answers, is how we do pay for it. My position is that philanthropists today are not being moved by the arguments being made or the work being produced to step up in a genuine way and give money, and that that is going to be our challenge and struggle because extraordinary work is being done, extraordinary ideas have come out here. I think what you're saying is that arts need to cross-pollinate. Um, they can't be siloed, Margos. We talked about that bringing arts together will help raise awareness and raise money, but it's still, we still need to push the buttons of today's philanthropists. And I take a very sort of cynical view of it, I'm sad to say, which is there's no such thing anymore in, in true philanthropy. Every, everybody wants too much in return. So either philanthropic money is going to what people perceive as, you know, more about education, health, the, the Bill Gates, the Gates Foundation model, or they'll support the arts, but they want a lot in return. Eric, you saw of the $2 million you raised, everything wasn't just about here's the money. It was here's the money and here's your art object you bought at auction or your port photography portfolio. Mm -hmm. Philanthropists want something it's back for their giving. support of the arts. It's not just about supporting the great ideas. So either we're not communicating these great ideas to the philanthropists well enough today, or in an economic period of crisis, the money's just not there and people are being reticent and holding back. But I think there is definitely a crisis here, and I wish I had the answer for it. I think but that the, the title of the panel actually said it all. We didn't actually use the word investment very much, but it is an investment. There's either an, there's an investment by, by us as artists in the thing. You set out and you're persevering and you're going to make this happen. You're making an investment in this. We ask philanthropists to make an investment of various sorts in ventures. It is an investment. It, it is not necessarily you just get something, but you have to make that argument successfully, and the only way you're going to make it successfully is if it is actually genuine. I've made the request of teachers, make an investment in this. Give this program a chance. I know you feel like you need that 45 minutes to, to review the equations, but trust me, 45 minutes of National Dance Institute type training will get you better results than without. And then you, if you can get to that point and they give you that investment, then you have to deliver and then it works. It's all about investment and creating that environment where people are willing to make an investment all sides. And, but you also have, you are making the right argument. You, are, you have a program that actually proves that you are right and the argument is Well, successful. if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it then doesn't it shouldn't work. happen. It goes then, back to know, what you said. We have to do better. Happen. We have yeah. to make better things. We have right. to do, I mean, you know. Uh, Nothing wrong with the idea of seed money either. One of the things I'm involved with for the Jerome Robbins Foundation is seeding new choreography around the country because in the economic crisis they believed, the directors, that there's a good chance people aren't willing to take a chance on new choreography right now, so we'll just do, you know, more Dracula. You know, something not, you know, maybe we'll get a ticket sale out of this. So we go around and we seed it, and fully in the knowledge that not everything is, you know, commissioned work is commissioned work. But seeding done with thought can work. Also, I wouldn't just to end on a hopeful note, or maybe it's not the last. You can make the last comment. You know, you can't you can't keep you can't keep uh, creativity down and expression down. I notice now that there are these websites that you can go on to that are like Kiva for the arts, where you know somebody who's who's making um, I don't know a, a, a certain a sculpture or or some kind of uh, some kind of exhibit in Georgia is going online and asking for little donations. Microfinance. Microfinance for the arts. So you really can't keep it down. It's going it's going to continue to bubble up and it's going to and it's going to make its itself heard. But I do think we need to do better at making the argument. So make better art. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. One question, these are very difficult times in terms of the economy and when you talk of FDR, he led us through the Great Depression and all of those were the, the worst of times. Uh, are you hopeful about where we're, uh, where we're going as a, as a country and as a nation? Yeah, I am hopeful. I mean, you know, we as a people are a very resilient population. We are an enormously inclusive population. Um, but we're at a point where I think we have lost sight of what the proper balance between a thriving democracy and a thriving economy 
where that balance is, you know, and we, um, and I think we're coming to terms with that right now. We're coming to terms with what it would mean for our democracy to be a bit more vibrant. And by that, making government a bit more vibrant and doing good, the good work for the American people that frankly we saw a function of the New Deal back during the Roosevelt presidency. And um, I think there's an awful lot of people discouraged right now about where are the jobs gonna come from? How are they gonna hold on to their homes? The conversations we've had over the course of this weekend, I think, um, suggest that there's there's hope, there's optimism, but it's going to take serious leadership, and it's going to take um, making some people probably a little angry along the way and getting th through some some fights and some difficult conversations. I think the country is up for it, and um, I think it's going to be what we can look forward to for the, about the next year. If our viewers are interested in knowing more about the Roosevelt Institute, how can they uh, find out? We'd love for them to come to find out more about us. We're based in New York City, offices in Washington and up in Hyde Park, and our, our website address is www.rooseveltinstitute.org. Look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you so much. Thank you.